So here we are at Orion's well, Chambers. And let you. us check. Three and blessings, Sarah. That was the right spell that we learned. Well, Master Orion, do you recognize the wizard spells? Ah, you've learned the rudimentary spells. I'm proud to be your patron. For the next lesson, please take this book on war magic by the legendary Azurian Arctis. Okay. Welcome, friend. Let I me. feel as though I should know you. Should be right at the end. Something like war magic. Or what is the art of war magic? Or destruction skill increased. And I'm going to add this to the story time. The art of war magic. There we go. So, about the wizard spells, you've demonstrated your knowledge of the basic spells. Do you have more chores for me? One of our fellow Telvanni, Mill and Firm, is being assaulted by members of the House Lalu in Ondiniran. So, it's on Asura's coast, west of the shrine to Azura and south of the old Dwemer ruins of the Churdams. I think I was there. I will mark these ruins on your map. Go there and speak with Milan Ferrin, who's under attack by forces of House Lalu. He's probably making his last stand at the top of his tower. Okay. Um, let me note this down. Uh, we learned the wizard spells, and Master Ryan wants us to. Let me click to this so that I can. Save Nilin Aran is what I'm going to call the quest and is go to Odi Niran. Which is south of Nature Dams. Also I think I want to see the shrine to Azura. Because she's a Daedric goddess. Or Edric, I think, is, is, is the word then. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was not the correct way. I didn't want to go into Master Aaron's Ryan's bedroom. Under I wanted to go to Azura's coast. By the way, he created a map it. marker. That wasn't so left. Sure dams should be. No need to think. Where is Azura's coast? There. Hmm. I think we have been tasked to go there. By someone else too, haven't we? I think this isn't the first time we heard that name. I thought I've been there, but the map doesn't show me that I've been there. So I would go to Mulagmar and then walk over, I guess. Well met, out. Of course, slow fall would also be a thing for getting down. Or we get to Tel Brunora, but that's like down here. Tell fear and then head south. Uh, I don't know yet. I think I'm going to head to Mulagmar because that's a place I know. Where, like, I mean, I think we've been at Tell fear before, but yeah, we have. I mean, look at this. And also, I guess we walked there. 
but uh, for some reason I think the other one, the other route, Moagmar, and then because there's a suit right there, and then Churdams would be the safest route. So since I do want to have glass armor, I actually did check where to get it. There is one vendor that buys, no, that sells a random item, but like only one of three. And to get a complete set, you actually need to kill these, um, I think it was the Morak Tong Guild who, who wore glass armor. It's kind of sad that you can only get the glass armor by killing them, but on the other hand, if that is so, we can still check the first item, and that was in, in Ghost Gate. So that's also something that we need to do at some point, but for now we're losing money, so... I think I misclicked. I wanted to go to Sedrith Mora. Yes, I'm somewhere else. And there is not even the the boat person is even here. We didn't tell our room without any without anyone to get us out of here. By oh yeah, they're they're swimming there. I think that's the person that we need to talk to. Yes, travel. I'm waiting. That's where I wanted to go. Or other. Yeah. That's where I. Sort of, you know, Sedr of Mora is right. I wanted to go to Sedr of Mora, and I think I'm going to real quick head to the council and ask about the stronghold. It seems that my concentration is waning, so I might not record for that much longer. I kind of want to get to Churdams. I, I kind of want to get to the Odinuran place at least and see what is there. What do you so, want, Outlander? I actually want to speak with a specific person whose name I need to look up because I want to build my stronghold. So let me check my own stronghold. That was Lunella Hilaran. The council, let's see if it's one of those. No, no. Actually, doubt that it's one of the mouths. Is there something I can do for you, Alpine? You can point me to. Who, well, actually, maybe I can ask her about the stronghold and she will tell me where to go. Uh, no. So now I'm up here. Let's walk around. Okay, this is this is for the people who want to watch the meetings, kind of. I like that there was a, like a, a stab at those just the people just standing there, kind of, kind of standing there, being super bored, just waiting for a telepathic message from the masters, I can so they so moments, they can start can or talk. for someone to head in, so they can actually start discussing something. Because if this was a council where they were constantly discussing things, then they should actually be just talking when you enter. That's someone else, but they offer enchantment services. Restore fatigue, restore health. So I should do something like that, actually, restore health um, with uh, 10 points 
What do you want? Because that's actually stronger than my half heal, because my half heal is uh, five points for... Is it half heal? I think the healing spell that I have is like two points. Oh no, that that's a strong one actually. That, that is a rather strong one. But I do have another healing thing. Oh, the healing potions, exactly. Those, those were... Restore health, those are mine. Thank you. Under sun and sky, our ally, we break you all. So, uh, more enchantment. I want to remove that filter here, by the way. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the silver staff that I got. Silver staff of shaming. Damage attribute, willpower, and intelligence. Shield. The, the, the higher barrier ring would be nice. It's also interesting. Resist poison without having to um, to use a spell. Dispel on touch? No, I would want to dispel myself. If so. Of course I can also like have a poison cure poison potion. That would be also that would be actually the most um intelligent thing to do, just take potions with me. Because again, taking potion doesn't take any time in game. Twenty to sixty percent for that. That's also an interesting thing. Not, nothing from you. You train in enchanting, right? Yes. Three yeah. blessings, Sarah. Do you have something? Training friend. And I think that was. I've been done here. I've talked to this too, right? Yes, those were the first two I talked. If you care to talk. Chambers. So this is all subterranean. Ah, that's a Telvani temple. Mm. Under sun and sky, Outlander. It's all self -spells. We greet you warmly. Fortify health. Mm -hmm. Resist magic, a quicksilver, fortify attribute speed. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Restore health is interesting. More restore health, restore magic, uh, cure poison, as we know. More restore health. Even though we have lots of those. But it still is not. Oh, that way, cure poison, cure blight, clear disease, ladies and And we have a fire resistance already. Fortify endurance. That's that. That's what we've got now. Interesting. There's someone watching you. I can tell. May you find all that you seek, traveler. So that's a trainer for a sneak acrobatics hand to hand. Okay. And someone who sells stuff and spells. Free action. Hmm. So see, this is this is a very weak crystal health. Yes, they sold what resistances, want, but I actually might have them already, and um, I'm not going to go to the... What's the, what's the creature called that killed us? Damn it. Yes, I should actually stop doing this very soon. My concentration is going down fast. 
especially in English. This is also why it's starting to get harder and harder for me to create English sentences in my head while talking. But who is that person? Is there something I can do for to you, Outlander? Well, where is that person? Lunela Hilaren, at the Telvanni Council. And this, this is the Telvanni Council house. This is exactly where they were supposed to be. Oh, I do not check. I do not check if I can fly upstairs. So again, I'll check. Let me double check if I was just blind, but I think that these should not be the people I want to talk to. And this is the only... I can spare a few moments if you care to talk. I'm going to stop this here and I'm going to stop recording here and check this out next time. Hello and welcome to Panthe Plays Morrowind. Last time when we left the recording, as far as I remember, we tried to find um, what was the name? Let me check the to do list. Lule Lunella Hileran at the Telvani Council, and we did not find them. So we're going to now head off to Odiniran, south of Anchor Dams, in the hope that there won't be an enemy who's going to overpower us um, dearly. Let's see, Anchor Dams is here, so we're most likely going to walk over from Mulagmar. Let's head that way then. And I also have started a originally planned to not do more than one let's play at the same time anymore because um, you're kind of always alternating um, recording one and the other and end up having not enough episodes. Um, but I really, really, really wanted to play Albion, so I did start the German Let's Play of Albion. And in order to not run out of episodes, I'm going to record some more Morrowind episodes. So I'm now again trying to record whenever I can. So since I record Morrowind in my home office in the basement, I'm now recording as my roommate is still at home. Or not still at home because he has free day today. There we go. Can what do you want? Take us somewhere relevant? I guess not. I guess I have actually completely messed up. I mean, I could go. I don't think so. I could go to Vivek and then then back. But I think I think I'm better off taking the Sith Strider. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Thanks, but I'm actually where I want to be. So by using the guild guide, the guild transportation to Aldrun, I made the mistake to go to Aldrun, so I took the Sith Strider from there to Balmora and from there to here. And I'm going to walk towards Insure Dams. Another reason why I'm recording right now is, as I said, my home office is in the cellar and it's a super hot day. And here in the cellar, it's at least a little bit uh, cooler. That said, I'm going to get an AC fitted this weekend, which of course means when this episode airs, the AC will be there for a few weeks. And I will, um, I think I will actually be, be in vacation or I might be back from vacation again. I'm not going to check the calendar right now. This is Mount Kand, this is Mount Asur Nibibi. Mount Kand is being here. I'm going to head towards the other mountain. There is someone there, so I'm going to drop a quick save because they can, they might attack us. I don't know uh, if they actually will attack us because it is a uh, skeleton, but I'm going to go this way because I want to head that way. So I'm going to go to the other mountain. Okay, now they're actually attacking us. Let them come. Recharge our endurance, fatigue, whatever. 
and let them eat some fire bites. There we go. It's just a regular skeleton. Now we're going to take the bone meal. And I think the shield is not that valuable, so I'm going to leave that all that there. This will just add to our weight. Um, but I'm going to mark this place on my map, or for my map, my to-do list. The Helen Ancestral Tomb. So there is the exploration thing that I can open, and there is... Helen. Something's wrong with the overlays as, seem, as it seems. There, Helen. Ancestral Tomb. Nope, there. Not working. I actually I, um, posted the uh, making of. Uh, shouldn't do multiple things with text at the same time. Let me real quick. Note that down on the path from Molag Mar, not Margan. Molag Mar to Mount Asimir, something like that. Safe. Um, I did post the making of um, Pantheon Place Morrowind, the behind the scenes video where I show what I'm doing, and actually, I skipped a few steps in the preparation. I did not check if the overlays work. And that's what I get for it. Let me see if the whole list works. No, not even that one seems to display. So sadly, you need to trust me blind that I'm typing what I'm telling you that I type. Let's just head on. We are now having the tomb in the list of places that we want to explore. There's a cliff racer in our way. Ooh. We're good enough with the magic to just uh, take him on, even though our fatigue is low. Very. I have contracted hell joints. My joints are giving me hell. Well, then let's fetch that. And let's see if we have a cure common disease. And there it is. And that's that spot is left of hell joint nothing. Now let's head on. And I hope that there is somewhere a way to turn to the right again. Well, it does look like it because here the, the bright things should be mountains. And they stop there, so I should go around that mountain. That was my actual plan. And also, we should go with Cave Spelunking again at some point. While, on the other hand, we had quests to go into caves, which did not go so well. So, well, right now we still have quests to do, so I'm going to focus on these. The sound is not very reassuring, to be honest. It does sound like there is a huge enemy coming close, but I bet that's just a part of the atmospheric sound effects pack. Come on, I want to, I want to turn right, I don't want to just run over the mountain. I guess, I guess it's supposed to be wind. Now we are at Mount Asimir BVB. There is, there is actually a shrine here. Let's take a look at that shrine, just out of curiosity. Let's save, because we don't know what it is. Should be Shrine of the Temple. It's the Asirini Bibi Shrine, and it's the birthplace of Almalexia. Ah, okay. There we go, and let's see if we can just take a turn to the right and head south, head back south again. Here this goes. This is an egg mine. Doesn't seem like it. It seems like we're right heading to Telfir. 
Hmm. What are we going to see? Let me. I did not want to just cross the mountains, like climb the mountains, but I think it's the only way. Come on, get here. And two. Oh, it's three. No, I'm not avoiding that one, but I, I'm basically heading straight-ish towards where we want to go, and that's more like this direction. Ah, the stars are nice today. Or tonight, that is. So that we just cross the mountains. And oh, there is some kind of place that we can actually go to and we want to go to south of Chirim, so we're actually approaching from the right angle we're approaching from the north and this is a swampy region again as it seems there are nets here and lots of mushroom like plants and Klama foragers. One of them seems to have started attacking. All right, there you are. There. And that one does resist the magic, so we're going to switch over to a different kind of magic, not fire. But how about? Absorb health. Well, we could use this because we, we, are, we are not fully healed. Okay. Do we have um, an empty? We do have an empty. These. So I'm going to cast Soul Trap and then. How about. Ooh, Vampiric Touch is, of course, way too strong. How about... Drain Blood. That was what I meant to do. Uh, but I actually don't have any Magicka left, so I need to switch over to my weapon. And we've trapped the skull, Shalk's soul. And let's rest here. That was the wrong button. I wanted to rest until healed. So I always do. And it's turned daytime. So let's head on. Let's head on towards the Sure Dams. I assumed the Sure Dams would be a. Okay, this is not it. I had assumed that it would be a Dwarven Ruin from the name, and this is a Daedric Ruin thing. Saved right at the beginning of the fight. Oh, that, that was the wrong spell. Actually, I wanted to use Firebite. It doesn't take that much energy. So, saving again. So, this is a Daedric place thing. Let me heal up again. <laughs> 